Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to my weekly update and first of all a very, very happy new year to you all. It feels like uh, the year never stopped really. I'm at the Oxford Farming Conference and on the closing day and I'm about to go on stage and be speaking myself in a minute. But yesterday of course was a political session, Steve Barclay, the Secretary of State was here and I have to say we are really pleased with what we see with the SFI options, the payment uplift, particularly pleased on species rich grassland. Finally, recognition that our grasslands have so much to offer. So I, I think good news on, on the options. I asked the Secretary of State two questions. I said, you know, I thought we really needed to be doing the impact assessment, something that we've been calling for for a long time uh, as we switch to the value being an environmental crop rather than a food crop what is going to be the impact on our food security what is going to be the impact on the back of that on farm businesses and also making sure that we are absolutely focusing on the future of where this scheme is going to go in the current environment the war in ukraine a complete game changer the second point i made to the secretary of state was how are we going to deal with volatility and risk Whatever thoughts were on the BPS, it was the one way we dealt with a market failure situation. Uh, weather, the extreme weather right now, quite honestly, is, is just unbelievable, the damage that's been done to winter planting. Um, so I asked him specifically what he would do on volatility and risk, pointing out that that winter planting had been lost, um, seed now in very short supply, and what was that going to mean for spring planting? So a lot of questions to be answered there. I'm afraid his answer back was not great, and he talked about consumers having better labelled British produce. There's a lot of work to do on, on how we deal with stability and how we make sure that we are dealing with risk and volatility. Um, Steve Reid was also there uh, as well on the panel session and I asked him the question about how he would overcome state aid rules. They're using procurement as a sort of flagship policy. Um, we're hearing at the moment from government lawyers that it couldn't be about British because we're still compliant with state aid. So all parties, there are a lot of questions that need answering on your behalf. So 2024, I have hit the ground running and it's back at work for all of us. Anyway, wherever you are, please do take care. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week. Many thanks.